Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna give you the perfect fall makeup. It's a beautiful, beautiful smoky type of eye with a burgundy type of ready shade. And we give it a little touch of volume on the makeup. So if you wanna know how we do this perfect fall makeup, keep on watching. Well guys, we're gonna start, as always, gonna prime the lid with the eye primer to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing, moving, or to give more intensity. And we're gonna start by applying this burgundy shade from the new Element Marvel Palette by Motifs. It's an amazing payoff palette eyeshadow. We're gonna be applying this burgundy all over the lid and blending the crease. See how easy the crease blends? I'm gonna apply a couple of times to give that intensity that I like, and also I'm gonna be applying the same eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. One trick to make sure you have an even space eyeshadow, a place eyeshadow, just put your head a little backwards and apply where you normally you wouldn't apply because you don't see it and it gets a very more even smoky eye. For the crease, I'm gonna be applying a brown matte eyeshadow. I'm gonna give the contrast between the, the shimmery finish from the burgundy and the matte finish from this brown and also the light pearl shade. I'm gonna be applying to just blend the cut of the brown. This brown I apply just on the crease and the beige bone tone I apply just on the cut of the brown. I'm going to give a touch highlighting dot uh, by applying this champagne iridescent and shimmer shade on the central of the lid and blend it to integrate with the burgundy. If you need to, you can apply the burgundy one more time. And you won't need to also, you can apply the brown once again just to give that nice um, edgy effect on there. To the rest of intensity of the eye makeup I'm gonna redo my eyebrows in a defined but natural way also I'm gonna be applying a black eyeshadow on the waterline to give that intensity but you can go for a cold pencil or eyeliner I'm gonna also apply the same pearl eyeshadow on the arch of the eyebrow the matte one I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply corner set of false lashes Now it's time for the face, make sure you clean up any possible fall off of product. Well, these eyeshadow are amazing, they don't fall off, so... Moving to apply uh, the primer to prevent the, the foundation from moving and give more flawless finish. I'm gonna apply my concealer to cover it some imperfection and also the dark circle areas and also I'm gonna be using to correct and define the bottom part of the eye makeup to have it cleaner and tighter. And then I'm gonna apply my foundation all over my face and I'm gonna set it with loose translucent powder concentrate and just on the where I apply the concealer on my t serum and of course you can choose a product that goes better for your skin and also apply wherever it works better for your skin. To give a little hint of a bronze and also color, I'm gonna be applying this blush that have a burgundy shade and gold in it and apply it on top of my cheekbone, cheekbones and going a little bit up from the temples. Gonna be applying mascara now that the fold lashes are completely dry and I'm gonna concentrate on the part that is not full lashes, so from the central to the teeter area, to balance out the entire makeup or the entire lash. For the lips, I'm gonna give you two color options and three final looks. I'm gonna start with this pink. I'm gonna fill in the lips with it and this will give a little more soft type of sweet finish to the makeup. If you are more for into dark and stream intense lips, you can go for a burgundy shade, even darker than this one, and create a perfect lined uh, lips, fill them in, and also line the outer part with concealer to create that perfection on your lips. This is a very intense, giving very strong look. You can blow off a little bit of powder with a tissue, and then we will have a little wash of color on your lips. This is a smaller, softer version from the previous one. Now let's see the three together and tell me which one is your favorite. Favorite. 
Well guys, I hope you like this makeup tutorial. See, I give you a couple of lip options, but you can go for a very nude, or you can go for a very vampire deep type of red, which is very in trend right now. So if you wanna recreate this eye makeup or this completed makeup, please share a picture with me on my social networking. You'll find it just right there. I love to see it, give it thumbs up, retweet it, and all of that. So thanks so much for spending some time with me one more time. Be happy and see you next one. Ciao, ciao.